Yellow fever is a serious viral infection that is spread by certain types of mosquito. It's mainly found in Sub-Saharan Africa, South America and parts of the Caribbean. The condition can be prevented with a vaccination and is a very rare cause of illness in travelers. Between 1999 and 2018, there were 12 cases of yellow fever reported among European travelers. None of these travelers were vaccinated, five of these cases occurred in 2018. If you're planning to visit places where yellow fever infection is found, you should seek travel health advice before you travel. How yellow fever is spread. The virus that causes yellow fever is passed to humans through the bites of infected mosquitoes. The mosquitoes that spread the infection are usually active and bite during daylight hours, and are found in both urban and rural areas. Yellow fever can't be passed directly from person to person through close contact. Yellow fever symptoms. The symptoms of yellow fever occur in two stages. The initial symptoms develop three to six days after infection and can include 1. A high temperature, fever. 2. A headache. 3. Nausea or vomiting. 4. Muscle pain, including backache. 5. Loss of appetite. This stage will usually pass after three to four days and most people will make a full recovery. However, around 15% of people go on to develop more serious problems, including jaundice, yellowing of the skin and whites of the eyes, kidney failure and bleeding from the mouth, nose, eyes or stomach, causing blood in your vomit and stools. Up to half of those who experience these symptoms will die. When to seek medical advice. You should see a doctor as soon as possible if you develop symptoms of yellow fever and are currently traveling in an area where the virus is found, or have recently returned from one of these areas. To help determine whether you have yellow fever, the doctor will want to know exactly where you have been traveling and what symptoms you have. A blood test will be needed to confirm the diagnosis. Treating yellow fever. There is no specific treatment for yellow fever, but you will be monitored and the symptoms can be treated. You will be admitted to hospital for assessment and supportive care. Yellow Fever Vaccination The yellow fever vaccine protects you from infection when you travel to a country where yellow fever virus occurs and prevents the disease from spreading between countries. After you have received the vaccine you are given a yellow fever vaccine certificate to prove that you have received the vaccine and are protected from infection. This certificate is designed to fit inside your passport and is valid for life. The countries that require proof of vaccination are those where either the disease occurs, or where it could occur because they have the correct mosquito and monkey species that could harbor the infection. Contraindications to vaccination There are some people who cannot be given the yellow fever vaccine. These include 1. Infants less than 6 months of age 2. An allergy to eggs or chicken proteins 3. An allergy to a previous dose of yellow fever vaccine 4. A suppressed immune system due to disease. 5. A suppressed immune system due to medications such as chemotherapy drugs, methotrexate, azathioprine or steroids. 6. A disorder or disease of the thymus gland e.g. myasthenia gravis, D. George syndrome or have had their thymus removed, for any reason. 7. Having a first-degree relative who has had a serious complication to the vaccine. Cautions. Yellow fever vaccination should usually be avoided during pregnancy and when breastfeeding. A healthcare practitioner will discuss the risks and benefits of vaccination in these circumstances. The vaccine can be given to those with HIV infection, but only if their CD4 counts are greater than 200 and they are stable on treatment. Latex. The tip caps of the pre-filled syringes contain a natural rubber latex derivative, which may cause allergic reactions in latex-sensitive individuals. Side Effects Common Side Effects It is common to experience mild side effects after having the yellow fever vaccine such as 1. Mild fever 2. Headache 3. Joint and muscle pain 4. Nausea and or vomiting 5. Soreness at the injection site these side effects can occur from the day of vaccination up until 14 days after vaccination and usually last no more than three days. Rare side effects. Rarely, serious complications occur after receiving the yellow fever vaccine. These are more common in those over 60 years of age. These include 1. 
Yellow fever vaccine associated neurological disease, YLN, is a condition affecting the brain and nervous system, causing symptoms such as confusion and problems with movement and coordination. 1. The risk of YLN is estimated as follows. Over 60 years of age equals 2.2 cases per 100,000 doses of vaccine administered. Less than 60 years of age equals 0.8 cases per 100,000 doses of vaccine administered. 2. Yellow fever vaccine associated viscerotropic disease, YAL AVD, is similar to yellow fever itself with multi organ failure and death in approximately 48% of cases. 2. The risk of YAL AVD is estimated as follows. Over 60 years of age equals 1.2 cases per 100,000 doses of vaccine administered. Less than 60 years of age equals 0.3 cases per 100,000 doses of vaccine administered. Vaccination in those older than 60 years of age. If you are 60 years of age or older, you can receive yellow fever vaccine, but only if you are fit and well, understand the risks of vaccination and have a real risk of yellow fever virus at your destination, rather than requiring the vaccine just for certificate purposes. A healthcare practitioner will discuss your risk of disease at your destination and the potential risks of the vaccine, to help you to make an informed decision regarding vaccination. Medical Exemption Certificates A healthcare practitioner will decline to vaccinate you if there is a contraindication to the vaccine and may decline to vaccinate you if the risk of serious vaccine side effects is assessed as being higher than the disease risk. If the risk of disease is deemed low, and you agree, a medical exemption certificate can be issued in these circumstances. 1. A medical exemption certificate is only valid for one trip. 2. You must practice strict mosquito bite avoidance during travel because you will not have any protection from the vaccine against potential infection. 3. You must be reassessed on subsequent trips. Avoiding travel to a yellow fever risk area. If you have a contraindication to the vaccine or the risk of serious side effects is high, and there is a significant risk of contracting yellow fever on your trip, you are likely to be advised to cancel or change your travel plans. Healthcare practitioners are not obliged to administer yellow fever vaccine if they believe it unsafe to do so, or it is not required for your trip. If you have any medical conditions, it is best to seek travel advice before you book your trip.